Today we are taking a look at the Samsung Gear VR to see what this ancient piece of text holds up in there. Now you might be asking why check out this old VR in 2024? Well my friends, sometimes it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. So let's dive in. Even though this is an old device, the packaging still brings a sense of excitement. As we unwrap the Gear VR, it's a reminder of the days when strapping your smartphone to your face was the gateway to another dimension. This VR may not have the sleek aesthetics of today's VR headsets, but there's a certain charm to its simplicity. It's lightweight, portable, and quite sturdy. These adjustable straps and padded eyepiece provide a surprisingly comfortable fit. Let's remove these for now. Now remember that touchpad on the side? It was our primary navigation tool. Some lucky users even had the optional controller for more precise interactions. And up there on top of this touchpad, we got the back button. Now before we open it up and peek inside, let's look at what's on the outside. Up top, there is a knob to adjust the focus, making sure the screen is just right for your eyes. And at the bottom, there is a spot to charge your phone while using it. But here's the easy part, it doesn't need to be plugged in for the Gear VR to work. There is also this proximity sensor right between the two lenses. When you used to put it on, it would automatically turn on the display. And when you used to take it off, it used to switch off automatically. Alright, let's dive into the inside. First, we need to remove these rubber caps to uncover 6 screws. Gently unscrew them and the plastic faceplate comes off. Here we need to watch out for a ribbon connector. It's the one running from the phone's micro USB port to the VR's main board. Now take a look at this knob. It changes the position of these 4 plastic towers, controlling the distance between the phone and your eyes as we mentioned before. Now let's take off this plastic cover by unscrewing these three screws and gently disconnecting the connectors. The flex cable isn't just for linking to the phone, it is also taking care of the volume buttons. Here we'll also unclip the connectors for the back button, proximity sensor and touchpad. Now let's unscrew the whole black plastic to separate it from the rest. Lift it off to reveal the gears inside. Maybe that is why it is called the Gear VR because it has the gears. And as we have come this far, so it's time to play around with it. It's kinda cool though. Now it's time to pop off the main board, the brain of the device. It controls the touchpad and buttons. The heavy duty stuff such as gyros and all is to be handled by the phone itself. Moving on, let's remove the lens by lifting off this black cap. These lenses are top notch. And let me show you, as I bring these lenses closer to the camera, it starts to act as a tiny microscope. Nice. Other than that, everything inside is well made with good quality. That's it for today guys. I'll see you in the next video.